The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Back Monday at 4 on Radio Hodaki. Jane's addiction there on the Radio Hodaki Big Show this Monday afternoon. The time is 13 minutes past 4 o'clock. Now, regarding your weekend, Mogi, which yeah. you're just about to discuss, yeah. on Friday we talked about the fact that you were on the horns of a dilemma. Oh, thank you. Uh, and that your wife and child were going Mowat. away for the weekend. Mowat. And you were questioning what to do, <laughs> i.e., Get on it, yes, and or not get on it. That's right, because I was already, um, I was what was I six You're, days on the wagon or something, five yeah. or six days, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so yeah, it was good. I got home, and my wife and my, my wife. daughter weren't there, so so they left you, so yeah, she's left me again, yeah, on holiday for the weekend, yeah. and um, yeah, it was it was pretty exciting stuff. I cleaned the house. Cleaned the house and was in bed about nine nine thirty. Sick. So that was cool on Friday night. Okay, that was Friday night. So Just, you resisted the urge between here and getting yeah, home. Yeah, okay. did good. Yeah. Um, Saturday, I got up and I watched Dune. I went to the uh, IMAX and I watched Dune. Saturday morning. I went by, yeah, by myself. Oh, I was on about midday or something. Oh like yeah. That. You know, cleaned the house in the morning. Yeah. And then watch Dean. Right. Um, did, it, did it get dirty the house again between the time you went to bed oh, and when you got up? In the I wasn't morning? finished with the previous cleaning. Oh, there's right. a, quite a few loads of washing there. There's a pool. There's got to get the uh, the old sucky blowy thingy outside. You sure. don't get that going. The water blaster. There's a lot to do, Keezy. You know what I right. mean? Right. Vacuum. Uh, oh, we've got the robot vacuum. Oh, so yeah, I don't yeah. really count that as work. Uh, then after Dune, Dune finished. I went home and I watched the Warriors versus South. Oh, good game. But we'll get into that later. Then I watched Manly versus Penrith. Great game. Then I watched the Dolphins versus West Tigers. Another great game. I watched three games of rugby league in a row, back to back to back. I don't think I've ever done that in my life. And how good was it? <laughs> it's pretty great. <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was, it was the exact great. same thing. Yeah, it was just like, I was like, oh, I might go to bed. And then I was like, oh, I might as well just watch this. It was good, man. Yeah. And it was good. I'll get into more of that later. The next day, um, cleaned the house some more, did some more house cleaning there. Yes. Yeah. And oh, then my wife, my wife came home and my kids, they came back. Oh, that was a bit of a the relief. Behavior, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. So that was, yeah, that was good. Um, when my wife got home and my kids, she texted me home because I wasn't home, you see. Right. I was at the pub. Really? I was at the pub, yeah. Yeah. I was at the pub and I'd been drinking all day the day before as well. Yeah, thank you. And I only had a couple on the Friday night though. Uh, I was a bit tired. I just went went to bed pretty much. The cleaning went to bed. Yeah. So anyway, I'm on the wagon again, <laughs> fellas. So you had a massive weekend. Oh, uh, well, no, it wasn't massive. I didn't get steamed yeah. at any point, but I was certainly having a lovely time. That's, That's, the, main a lovely thing, time. That's yep. the main thing that you were having a nice time. Well, there you go. Cause but now I feel like I'm ready. To go on the wagon. Right. Now I feel good. And what I really loved about the weekend, Hoity Jay, you and I were talking about this earlier on, bloody nice just to have some time to yourself and your own thoughts. Yes. Because as soon as you've got a family like that, it's very rare that somebody is not bugging you for something. You know what I mean? Yes. It's very rare that you get any time to yourself whatsoever. So it was really good. I straightened out quite a lot. Considering how crooked my thinking was, it was amazing how many things I straightened out in my head. Well, there you go. That's how great. about that? Bloody yeah. good stuff. Yeah, well, I've yeah, got yeah. a similar situation happening uh, tonight, actually, but we'll get into that later as well. We'll get into that so, later if that's uh, all good with you. I'll tell you, what, just hold on to that, Keezy, and we'll get into that later. Okay, well, I'll park that for now. We'll get yeah. into it later. Yeah, but Sweet straight ass. off the bat, just let me say I'm not interested in hearing about it. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just deal with it. Well, that's later. a bad way to start things actually, off the bat, just, if just, I'm honest. Just keep it parked, actually, Keezy. It's right. probably yeah. for the best. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, just park it. Smash the windows, pour some petrol through the windows, and just burn it out. <laughs> Actually, that happened to me on the weekend, but we'll get into that later. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Eels there on the radio. Hodaki uh, Big Show this Tuesday afternoon. Great to have your company if you're just joining us. The time is 12 minutes past four o'clock. Of anyone sent us any texts on 3483 Keezy? Uh, g'day, guys. G'day, fellas. I'm in well. Dargaville driving tractors harvesting Kumara. Oh, nice. Um, That's a sweet potato, man. Someone here has asked for a quick Yummy Boys, please. No. Actually, you didn't do the Yummy Boys yesterday. Oh, the NRL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah well, yeah, it's yeah. Charlie, Charlie Gubb's thing. And yeah, he does the yeah, yeah. We King should insert player that, of the day. Yeah, but Yummy Boys isn't player of the day. Yummy no, Boys a yummy is a Yummy is... Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, right. can you do that right now, Keezy? What? Are you serious? This is very off topic. Yeah. Yeah. Keezy's Yummy Boy of the Week. Yummy. Sean Johnson. 
Oh, what a cop out. <laughs> well, he scored yeah, two I mean, tries, I, I set up was, two tries, I scored was, 18 points on well, his own. As I say, it's not about the player of the day. And he looked it's, hot doing it. Um, because some good looking boys in that Warrior set up. Good eating. To my Eddie Martin. No. What? Hang on, whose segment is this? I would have thought... gone Jacob Laban. Yeah, but that's if it was Mogi's tasty boy of the day. What about you, Jace? Oh. Yeah, Jace. <sighs> Look at him I'd desperately. go Tohu. Oh. Tohu. Yeah, he's all good. Hey, yeah, he's like a man's man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's Yummy true. Like he, that. He's like the sort of dude that would go into the bush and kill a pig and come back and gut it and cook it up there and de- go and chop some wood and then come home, light the fire and make passionate love to you. That's yeah. true. That's true. Thanks, he is man. like that. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. vegan. Just a, like a leader. Yeah. Like a massive leader of men. Because that's what you want in your yummy boy, eh? Yeah, a, a leader. leader of men. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. it depends what you're going with, there, To Gizzy. gut a pig. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but hey, keep those great texts coming in on 3483, um, and we'll use them to get massively sidetracked from what we were supposed to be talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this raging against the show? Oh, is, uh, Come on, Keezy, what are you doing, man? You had the... 20 seconds left to talk about what we were going to talk about. Yeah, no, nah, let's save it, man. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, oh, cool. I'll tell you what, we'll get into that later. Yeah. Yeah. Should we do that later? I'll tell you what, straight off the bat, I'm not talking. About that. Actually, just I'll park talk about that. later. We'll do that later. Stick a pin in that, would you, Keezy? Okay. Okay, mate. Okay, mate. Du, 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 du. The Hodaki Big Show podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Oh, Jay, there on the Radio Hodaki uh, Big Show this Tuesday evening. Funny thing happened to me last night, fellas, when I got home. I started getting a. Uh, Oh, did uh, you? What? Congrats. Finally, it's been, it's been ages. A, yeah, it's been a while. Well done. Uh, I mean, I made full use of it. But then after <laughs> that, um, <laughs> I started getting really bad. Acne, I saw that. Stomach cramps. Oh. oh. And I, uh, like, my stomach was really, really cramping up. And I was going, oh, that's weird. And I actually have to admit, I sort of thought about Keezy. Oh. Uh, when you had your cling on. <laughs> Sorry, is that I, funny, is it? I'm fatigued, um, <laughs> and it was cramping away. And then at the end of the night, I had what I could only term as an explosive outcome to the stomach cramping. Sure, as you know, guys, I'm a very I'm very regular on that front. Yeah, uh, three perfect tubes in the morning, done and dusted for the day. What was this one? I, I, I won't get into the details because I'm aware of the fact that it's dinner time oh, for a lot is. of people. Good eating. So, so that happened, and I was going, "What the hell's going on?" And then I did what I always do in a situation like there's something physically going wrong with me. I ignored it. Mm. I thought you were going to say you panicked and thought you were dying. No, I good. I totally ignored it and went, "She'll be sweet as." Yeah, good on you, mate. Anyway, in the morning I had my coffee and and stuff, and then I went into the fridge because my my wife had bought these two big bottles. My wife. These two big bottles of fizzy. Oh, yum. But not your Coke or anything, you yeah. know, plebe like that. Yeah. But, you know, some sort of nice organic-y blah, blah, stuff. And, I, and I'd been plowing through it, like last night and this morning, litres of it. And then I looked at it and I realised it was kombucha. Oh, kombucha. And so I'd been... Kombucha. I'd been absolutely pounding the kombucha. Um, and I realised that was probably what it is because I... I, I'm I've had kombucha before, and it's and just a small amount, and it's done the same thing to me. I think my body reacts to it in some way because it's organic and natural, and well, it's a it's fermented sort of, tea. It's it's f- fermentation and yeah. high alcohol in it as well. Seriously, it's got alcohol in it. Yeah, so kombucha, kombucha. What is it like? It's almost like eighteen percent. Yeah, I was feeling a bit woozy too. Yeah, which you're I probably felt. you're probably your guts was playing up because you were hammered. You know how that used to happen when you used to get hammered, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Well, that all makes sense then. Yeah, because mm. um, I wonder if other people out there, when they have the kombucha, the same thing happens to them. Uh, it's from China, by the way. And it's how do you pronounce it? Kombucha translates to tea mushroom or tea fungus. Yeah, because that's how I f- I felt fungally. And gaseous. Well, it's because I think it's because we used to make it, and it's got this thing in it called the mother. Yeah, it's it's, it's, and it's one of the grossest things you ever lay your eyes it's on. It's like when you're making sourdough or whatever, and, you, and someone's got the the bug thing, the yeasty thing that you use. Yeah, it's creepy, yo- man. It's and, gross. And yeah. yogurt. 
Yeah, and then they go, yeah. "I'll share you. I'll share some of my culture with you." Culture, yeah. yeah, yeah, and you go, "No thanks." No I'm all goods. Yeah, um, but that was why are you so anti-culture, Jace? Well, I'm not anti-culture so much. It was just I, I had no idea that I why was drinking trying kombucha. To cancel culture, and it made me realise that probably my internals aren't very good anyway. If I'm getting that kind of fermentation well, action yes. going on, and you know what you should do about that? Have more kombucha. Yeah, nothing. Just nothing. Just yeah, do nothing, yeah. and it'll be sweet. You'll be right. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought, fellas. If in doubt, deny anything's going on. That's yeah. the one, brother. Just bury your head in the sand. Yeah, oh, this man. is a tune, man. The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. It is good shit on the Hodaki Big Show. 12 minutes to five. It is the big show with. And. Wow. No, <laughs> no Hoodie J today. He'll be nah. back on deck with us tomorrow. Hey, I just want to check in with you, um, Chris. Sure. And just make Michael. sure you're okay. Yeah, I'm all good. Yeah. Thanks for asking, Michael. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Because I've been getting a few phone calls from you lately. Right. Sort of the last 24 hours in particular. Um, and most of the time when I go to answer it, you hang up. Oh, really? Yeah. And then you'll send through in capital letters, pocket dial. You'll text me, pocket dial. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't trying to call you. It was a pocket dial. Well, I just didn't want you to th- look at that and then think, oh, crap, uh, Chris needs something. Yeah. And then call me back. So I thought I'd be like, pocket dial. Yeah, shouted really loudly at, yeah, me, yeah, yeah. at me. But um, on one of the accounts, because it's like three or four calls here and you keep on saying pocket dial, and it gets to a point where you think to yourself, well, maybe it's not a pocket dial. Maybe it is a cry for help. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, so how many did I do? It was about four there. Right. The last one, it kept – it. it it stayed open. Do you know what? The call was still going. Mm. And all I could hear was just you in tears. But I think you had the phone away. I think you thought that you'd hung up. Right. You hear that, did you? Yeah. But I just want to make sure that you're okay. And I know that Jace has got a habit of sort of, um, you know, taking the piss out of you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know Jace if you've does. noticed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't want that to be the situation here because if you've got things going on at home, and there could be any number of things. Yeah. You know, it uh, could be, let's list them off. Well, we don't have to. I mean, we, uh, yeah, It we, could be your marriage. Yeah, so, I mean, sure, I could be calling you in tears about my marriage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But if my wife's already your doing that. Your issue with steamers. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's about. Your drinking problem. Yeah, my drinking problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Responsibly, though. Responsibly, yeah. My responsible drinking problem. Uh, um, your golf game. No, nah, it's not, nothing wrong with that. No. Nah. <laughs> It wasn't any of that stuff, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I was just – do you really want to know what it was? Not really, but I thought oh. I'd pretend that – but, yeah, yeah, go on. We've got a couple of minutes left. <laughs> it, it was basically that um, Hoity J lately, I feel like he's been on my ass a wee bit. Yeah. I feel like he's almost – and it like for three years now we've been doing the show and we've been good as gold. Yeah. And I feel like all of a sudden he's been, you know, taking the piss a wee bit, saying I've got a yeah. big nose, um, saying, yeah. Yeah. It sort of goes on about your motley looking moustache and your clothes and your backwards hat, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Three, you know, those pants that sort of finish about three quarters of the way down your calf. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, um, no. but what, so how does that make you feel? Has that been, has that been bugging you? Oh. It's been bugging me. Yeah, I mean, I guess a wee bit, yeah. 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 Does that song make you feel better, though? No, it makes it way worse, by the way. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Yes, indeed, Manic Street Preachers there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Thursday afternoon. Now, don't forget, after 6 o'clock, relationship advice. Um, if you need relationship advice, then text us now on 3483 or go on our Instagram account and do it. Uh, speaking of which, Keezy, you need some yet again. Yeah, yeah. Uh by the way, everyone that texts through with a question in the draw for a $50 night and day voucher. I've just got a bit of a situation. So there's been a lot of stuff happening in media lately, a lot of um, shows being axed, a lot of people being let go. Unfortunately, my wife was caught up in that. You were one of the first to be caught up in it when I you was. got tossed off the ditch a few years ago. Yeah, well, that was, a few, that was unrelated. Uh, yeah. But certainly I've seen my fair share of being axed from stuff. Um, and so she's currently between jobs, you might say. Um, which is great because she is at home all the time now, all the time, you know? Yeah. Which is great because she's just always there, you know? I'm just a little bit concerned how many times you've said, it's great, it's great. Well, it is great. You it's know, great. she's yeah, my yeah, wife. Yeah. always there. She's always yeah. there. She's my wife. And I just want the way her. you put the emphasis on always there. 
Right. Well, I didn't realise I was doing that. But right. to be fair, she is always there. Yes. And so, like, you wake up in the morning, oh, she's there, you know. Does absence make the heart grow fonder, do you think, or does... Wouldn't have a clue. That's not my yeah, situation. Yeah. The opposite. Whatever the opposite is, is kind of, Is yeah. it fonder then? Do you feel fonder having her around? Always. Well, obviously I'm fond of her because she's my wife mm. and she's always there, you know. Mm. Um, so, like, wake up, uh, go to use the shower like I do in the morning. Do you? <laughs> Yeah, it's not that. Well, no, you you said that um, when she was working, what you used to do is because she'd go to work early, you'd wake up in the morning, and the first thing you'd do is go on your app and just see where she is. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah check yeah. the tracker the tra- app. The tracker oh, app. Oh, yeah, she yeah, is yeah. at work. Oh, she is at work. Yeah, okay, okay she's I'll allow it this time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, and then go, you'd do a steamer. And then I said shower. Time to put some filth on. And then I go have a shower, right? I go to have a shower. She's in there. You know, oh, yeah. and it's like what? Oh, you'd I was be about to, so then I'm waiting, and then I wait to wait How for her. How horrible that she would be in there! And then I go to make my breakfast after I come out of the shower. She's in there making poached eggs, like all in the way and stuff. Yeah, you does know? she make you poached eggs? No, nah, I don't want any. Oh, that's what I said. Yeah, no, nah, I don't want any. Um, like that. And then I'm just like, go to watch, um, go to sit down with my coffee and watch telly. And um, she's in there watching like a real old episode of some reality TV or something. And I'm just like, oh, you watching that? Are you? You know, sort of like that. And yeah. she's like, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, how long what, How long's left? She's like, oh, I just started, but it's an hour episode. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm just worried. Is that what you do? You get up and you watch TV all day. Did I say all day? I said I have a coffee and watch telly every morning. Yeah, I do. It's great. Uh, but I, well, not at the moment. I'm not. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, because she's really cutting in so if, on your, yeah. your you should private dump her. time. Have you thought about dumping her? No, I don't her? want to dump her because we're married. D-U-M-P. Dump. No, no, I don't want to dump her. It's interesting because uh, I have the the uh, benefit of hearing both sides of the story uh, when she rings me in tears every night. Yeah. And um, she was shocked and mortified, Mogi, uh, to see what Kesey's routine has actually been yeah. while she's at work right. at 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, I don't want to say she's disappointed. Right. Uh, but she is. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I, how, how does she think I feel? I mean, I've had to give up so much stuff, mm. you know? But are you pretending that you're not giving up anything? Because you, you wouldn't want her to know that you're... No, I'm pretending I'm not. Yeah, But yeah, in reality, yeah. I'm giving up a heck of a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a toughie for you, I guess. Mm. What are you going to do? You got any instincts on this one, brother? I don't know. I was just going to come on the radio and sort of wow on about, about it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Tick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tick. Um, but it's really, yeah. I mean, I had to break up with my mistress, you know. That was something I was running, you know. What about your fiancé? How's she nah, going? Nah, she's still going. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Back Monday at 4 on Radio Hodaki.